make up your mind you're going to stick with the breath and really stay with it, this quality of truthfulness, satcha. It doesn't mean just saying true things, but it also means when you've made up your mind to do something, you really stick with it. The things that you have to do you don't like to do, you learn how to talk yourself into wanting to do them. This is an important part of the practice. It's not that you just you can force yourself against your will to do something, but it's a lot more intelligent to make yourself want to do something that's good. Because force can last only so long. But when there's an understanding, when there's a desire to stick with something, then it's a lot easier. As for things that you like to do that are going to get bad results down the line, okay, you have to learn how to talk yourself into not liking them, seeing their bad side. This way it makes it a lot easier to stick with your determination. The New Year celebrations are over, and now there comes the job of living in the New Year. And the days are not that much different from the old year, but there should be some sense of a fresh beginning. That helps to clear the air and remind yourself that you have made some resolutions for how you want to improve the year, and particularly to improve your, your own actions. Where are you still causing unnecessary suffering to yourself, unnecessary suffering to others? What can you do to change? When you say there's something you can change, okay, you do your best to do it. And don't just sit there and say, well, maybe someday it'll happen, or I'm not ready for that yet. That's one very easy way of putting things off. The things the Buddha asked you to do, the things he asked you to give up, are not all that hard. It's simply a sense of whether you want to or not. And so make sure that you train yourself to want to do what's skillful and want to abandon what's unskillful. Learn to have some conversations, some negotiations with the different committee members in the mind that are being recalcitrant. That way this quality of truthfulness really does become one of your qualities. You look at the Ajans, all of them make up their mind to do something and they do it. They didn't talk about the difficulties involved, but they would talk about how when you see how they encourage other people to practice, you can see how they themselves would probably do it. In some of the cases, it just riles up their fighting spirit. In other cases, they say, well, we can learn to use your defilements in a skillful way. For example, your desire for pleasure. You can use that desire to make you want, to, want yourself to have a pleasure that lasts. Your desire to be free from suffering, okay, that's a really useful desire. Even though it may be a desire and someday you're going to have to abandon that, you abandon it only when the suffering is actually gone. In the meantime, you use it. You learn how to use your sense of humor, learn how to use your sense of shame, your sense of hatefulness, all the things in the mind that can be used to learn how to persuade yourself to want to do what you know is skillful and to want to abandon what is unskillful. And that way, the, not only the causes for happiness that you want, but also the results will become true as you develop and strengthen this quality of truthfulness.